Good morning, students. Happy Monday. I really enjoyed working with you last week and meeting some new students and reconnecting with former students. And I look forward to working more with you for the next five weeks. In this video, I'd like to explain week two's assignments. So the first thing you want to do is go to our week two module. First, click on the overview and read it over. This explains what we'll be learning this week. This week, we are going to identify an author's values and how a story is organized. So we'll be reading a story this week. Summarizing text, explaining in your own words what a text is about. For grammar, we're going to do two things. We're going to study verb tenses and sentence structure. Simple, compound, and complex sentences. So three types of sentence structure. For your writing this week, you're going to write a story about one of your beliefs. And for our student success tip, this week it's all about believing in yourself. And having this self-belief will help you be successful in school and in life. Okay, so these are the due dates for this week. By Tuesday, read this overview. Also, read the magic of letters. You will go over this article, article in your reading Zoom session with Katie on Wednesday. Also, last week you wrote a poem, so I'd like you to revise your poem. Revise means to fix it, to make it better. So this is the reading this week. Last week we read poems, but this week we are going to read a narrative essay. So it's an essay that tells a story. The one we're reading this week comes from a series called This I Believe. This is a special series where people write essays and they actually record themselves and it's all about something that they believe in. And it doesn't tell the story of their whole life, but the story focuses on this one belief, like maybe they believe in family, strength, focus. So what they believe in. And there's even a website called This I Believe. It's actually an international organization where people contribute essays. And we're going to be reading an interesting one called The Magic of Letters. It was written by this woman from Nepal. And she talks about her belief in the alphabet, how learning to read really changed her life and made it better. So it's a very interesting story. You'll go over these reading questions with Professor Katie. This vocabulary here is to help you read the text. In my session, we're going to be talking about the verb tenses, noticing which verb tenses were used in the story. And then here are some flashcards from the story. Okay. Also, if you wrote the poem where I'm from, I'd like you to revise it. Maybe you want to add more this week or delete things you don't want. Maybe change the order, editing grammar mistakes and fixing spelling and punctuation errors. So I sent it back to you with comments if you did it 
So you can check your inbox or you can check grades. I put it in two places to find it and read my comments and then go back and edit your post. You can click here and find your post like here's mine. To edit you would click on these three dots and click edit. Or if you're using a phone or iPad you'll see the edit button here at the bottom of your post and then you can go in and make changes to make it better. So that's the homework for for Tuesday. You don't have a lot for Tuesday. Just short assignments. So for Tuesday, read the overview, read the narrative essay, and revise your poem. For Friday, you have more homework. So I recommend doing a little bit every day. If you can do an hour or two every day, it helps. There's a video about verb tenses, present, past and future. And then you'll take a quiz. I'll show it to you. So I have this video or you can review the PowerPoint right here. You can click on it and learn about verb tenses. We're going to be doing present, simple and progressive, past, simple and progressive, and future, simple and progressive. Then you take the quiz. And these are some more websites that if you want to practice more with your verb tenses. After that, there's a video about sentence structure, how to write uh, Focusing on three different types, simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. A simple sentence is very simple. It has a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. Like, Chameli believes in the power of education. This is a simple sentence. Compound sentences basically take two sentences and combine it with a conjunction like but she had a difficult life but her education changed her life so this shows you how to combine sentences with coordinating conjunctions sometimes we call them fanboys and then we have complex sentences basically have a dependent clause and an independent clause. And they use subordinating conjunctions like when, if, after, although, because, and you combine sentences this way. So you're going to watch this video and then do a small homework assignment where you practice writing compound sentences and complex sentences, five of each. So you would just, on a piece of paper or typing it, you would just finish these sentences. I want to improve my English, comma, so I will study one hour every day, for example. So you're gonna write two sentences with a fanboys, with a coordinating conjunction. And then these are complex sentences. So you're going to finish, finish the sentences. And you can write it two ways. For example, before I took Summer Bridge, comma, I took ESL 45, or I took ESL 45 before I took Summer Bridge. So there's two ways to write complex sentences. So you would finish these sentences and write them two ways. That's the grammar this week, and it's due Friday. I have a vocabulary activity here. These are all words related to values, to what you believe in. Maybe believing in yourself, charity, compassion, courage, determination, education, equality, 
forgiveness, gratitude, and there are more values. So if you want to practice your vocabulary, you could review these words on Quizlet and write down 10 new words and the definitions. I have 20 here, but maybe there's 10 that are new to you. So you can review these words and take notes in your notebook. We'll be working on this on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. And there's an optional assignment if you want to log on to Facebook and talk about your values. And the writing this week is an essay, a narrative essay, which is basically a story that has a point or a main idea. You're going to choose one value or belief um, that you have, for example, charity or education, and you're going to write a story about why you have this value. And you can outline. We'll be working on this in the Zoom sessions, but how to organize your writing assignment. This is going to be due on Friday. And then you'll ha write two comments after. Actually, this will be next week. We'll write comments. We'll read each other's writing. For Sunday, you have your success tip. This week, it's all about believing in yourself. You're going to watch this video about this man who was born limbless. Limbless means without limbs, without arms or legs. So he was born this way. And he talks about how believing in himself helped him overcome hopelessness, meaning get past feeling helpless, having no hope. Now he has hope, and it's because he believes in himself. These are some vocabulary you'll encounter, you'll see, you'll hear in the video. So you can review these to help you understand this. And also when you watch, you can also turn, you turn on the closed captioning so you can read and listen. And then finally for Sunday, you have a discussion post. So part of believing yourself is thinking positively. So sometimes we have our inner critic, um, the, thing, the negative ideas or thoughts in your head. We're going to turn this critic or this negative thinking into something positive, my inner guide. So you're going to think of something you tell yourself that's not good, like no one likes me or I'm too old to learn English and turn it into an inner guide, something positive like my friends and family love and enjoy my company or I have a lot of life experience that will help me learn English. And I have an example. This is something, a negative idea that I have, my inner critic, that I'm not strong or flexible and I will never be able to lift heavy weights, run a marathon, or do cool yoga poses. I'll never be able to do that. That's a negative idea. My inner guide, a positive thinking, is if I work out every day slowly, I can have a stronger body. I can do it. I will be patient with myself. Okay, so this is not due till Sunday. Um, okay, everybody. So... I look forward to seeing you in uh, our Zoom sessions. You also have tutoring with Melissa, and I'll be sending you more information and reminders about that. Have a good week, too. Always feel free to reach out to me if you have questions or need help. Bye.